Hi guys, I hope that you've had a great week this week. I hope you're all looking forward to Super Bowl this weekend. I know I have all kinds of delicious food planned. We're gonna go watch the game with our friends. Lots of fun. So today I want to talk to you about my top 10 drugstore makeup must-haves. So some of these things that I'm gonna show you I have been using for years. Other things are new favorites of mine, but all of them I would absolutely 100% recommend. These things are all staples in my makeup collection. A lot of them I have already purchased more than once. The rest of them I will continue to purchase as long as they make them. So let's get started. First I want to start with my absolute favorite thing. This has made the biggest difference in my appearance, I think. And it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Under Eye Concealer. I use the color Brightener. And while I don't use this alone, I do use a full coverage concealer over the top. The amount of brightening that it does for my under eyes is amazing. I have genetic dark circles, so there really aren't any treatments that work because it's not brought on by fatigue, it's not brought on by dehydration, it is just that I have dark circles and it really sucks. But this stuff has changed my life. Before I found this, I struggled so much with my dark circles. I could not find a concealer that would cover them well enough. It always just looked really unnatural, kind of yellow. It just never looked good. And then I found this and it has this pink tone to it that it pretty much just erases that dark pigmentation, really brightens my eyes up. I absolutely love it and would recommend it to anyone who is struggling with under eye circles, definitely. I do like the brightener shade more than the tinted shades. I think that it does a lot more. Okay, the next thing is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I use Matte and Poreless. They also have a dewy finish. Um, this is a really good high medium coverage foundation. Very, very buildable. Um, it dries down pretty quickly. It melts into your skin. Lasts all day. It does have a tendency, if you don't set it correctly, to break a little bit in some areas, but I've not found a foundation that doesn't do that. Like, for me, my worry lines, because I'm constantly furrowing my eyebrows, and then I have very deep laugh lines when I smile and talk. Um, so my foundation always breaks there, and this one does do that as well, just full disclosure. But I think all in all, it is a fantastic foundation. Um, the next thing that I would recommend to anyone is the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. This stuff is $2 and it makes such a difference. Really, the longevity of my eyeshadow since I started using that has increased so much. Absolutely love it, $2, totally worth going and getting. It makes a huge difference. Okay, um, the next thing is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. It's what I'm wearing today. It's, um, I switch between this and the e.l.f. Baked Blush. This one is much more pigmented. It lasts a really long time. It is easy to be a little too heavy-handed, so you do need to build the color to where you want it. But it blends very nicely. It's got a nice amount of sheen to it, so it's, it highlights your, your cheeks just a little bit. Beautiful blush, super inexpensive, totally worth getting. The next thing that I really love is the e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. And this is a quad, Oops. comes with four different shades. It's got this lighter brown, a dark brown, a highlight, and a blush. And I actually love this for contouring. Absolutely fantastic. So I take this darker color here, and that's what I use to contour my cheekbones. I use all of the colors on a big fluffy brush to bronze, and then I use this lightest shade here to contour my nose and underneath my lip also. And I love it. It lasts all day. It doesn't have any shimmer to it, so it's really good for like a natural day. It It's just a good subtle bronzer, nice, easy to use contour. 
it blends very, very easily, and this is super duper inexpensive. Uh, the next thing that I really love, you'll notice I like e.l.f. a lot. e.l.f. is a great brand. The next thing, this is a dollar, and this is just a little highlighter. Um, it's like a cream highlighter a little bit. It actually has a consistency more like Vaseline or something like that, but it does dry. It doesn't stay greasy, but it's just, sorry, it's just a nice shimmery highlighter. But you can see it's just got a nice amount of shimmer to it. Really great for if you're doing a natural day and you just want to highlight your cheekbones a little bit, maybe your brow bones. It, it just looks very, very natural. Never powdery, obviously, because it's a cream. Um, so I use it for that for my, my natural days. I don't use it over powder because it, it will pull all of that off your face. So the next thing that I absolutely love is the e.l.f. setting spray. Now this stuff is really great for taking away that powder look, really helping the makeup to melt into your skin and make it look as natural as you possibly can with foundation and powder and contour and all that. Um, and it also does a pretty good job of making my makeup last all day. Towards the end of the day, I will notice some fading and like some hot spots on my face. I have right here the sides of my face and my chin, and also my nose do tend to get rubbed off by the end of the day. Um, it's where my hair touches, I hug my kids, and it, so this I have noticed though that that fading has decreased dramatically. Love it. So I also am loving this e.l.f. 3-in-1 mascara. It's absolutely wonderful for lengthening. It doesn't do a whole lot for, for volume, so I do go over it with the CoverGirl Lash Blast volume. Um, that, I had a hard time choosing between the two of them. I absolutely love my CoverGirl Lash Blast, but I feel like this, if you were to choose only one mascara, I think this is the better choice because it does lengthen a lot, and that to me is more important than volume. The next thing that I'm loving is also from e.l.f., and this is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. It's just a beautiful palette with some great matte neutral colors. It's got some good transition shades, nice dark smoky shades there, absolutely beautiful. And the last thing on my list, and this I have used on and off since high school. It's been around forever. It is just a great loose setting powder, and that is the CoverGirl Professional Translucent Loose Powder. Um, it's a little bit shimmery. It does have a bit of a tint to it. I use the translucent light, and I honestly just use the puff. I put it all over my face, kind of bake my foundation with this, and then buff it all off, and it um, there's a reason that it's been around as long as it has. It works really well and it costs like six dollars. So it's just one of those things I think it's a staple in a lot of people's makeup collection. So that is all ten of my drugstore makeup must-haves. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe for more makeup reviews and beauty tutorial and tips. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!